In this short video we're going to see how you can integrate the Universal Character Customization System with other UE4 or UE5 character projects. As an example we're going to integrate this with the procedural churn in place system that you can also find in the marketplace that includes by default UE4 and UE5 characters. First of all, you should create a new UCS project and I would recommend using the 5.1 version which has the latest updates. After you do so, go to your own project, right click on the folder that you want to migrate and make sure to migrate everything to the project that you just created. First of all, we're going to see how we can integrate this with the UE5 version. So let's say that this is the character that I want to use UCS with. Um, so we're going to open the blueprint for that character and then I'm going to search in the UCS folder for third person BP. We're going to copy some functionality from the UCS character. So on the UCS character we should copy everything that's below the character mesh. So from here all the way down, right click, copy and we're going to paste this in our own character blueprint. So right click and paste. Now we should head over to the UCS mesh and we're going to drag it below the character mesh. And we have to make sure that the transform, the location and rotation are all set to zero. Now head over to the upper left section of the screen on the component section, click on add and select UCS component here. Head over to the UCS character blueprint and go to the construction script and copy the functions that you can see here. Paste them on your own character's construction script. And make sure to connect the pins properly, then hit compile and save. Now click on the main character mesh and set it to hidden in game. And make sure that the bones tick when the character is hidden. And to do so, you have to head over to the optimization section here. And on the visibility part, you have to make sure that you click on tick pose and refresh bones. Finally, just head over to the UCS component and select the character that you want to use on the data table reference here and hit compile and save and you are ready to go. Now let's do the same for the UE4 character. We're going to follow pretty much the same steps with minor differences. So let's go back to the UCS folder where the characters are and this time let's select the UE4 character. Let's also open the character that we want to use. In this case, this is our own um, starting character. I'm going to select this so we can play as this character. And let's do the same that we had done before. So let's head over to the UCS character. And you will see that there's a difference now that you have two characters below the original mesh and we just have to copy them. Paste them on our own character. Make sure to pick the first one here and drag it over to the mesh and make sure that the location and rotation are both, uh, both at zero. Go to the Add option and select UCS component. Let's go to the UCS character, construction script and copy everything. And let's do the same for the character's visibility. Go to your main character mesh, go to hidden in game and hide this and select the 
visibility option and tick and select always tick post and refresh bones. Now let's select a different character this time on the UCS component. Now if you're using the 5.1 version we have to fix a minor bug that came with the engine change to 5.1. It's very simple to fix. Just head over to the UE5 mesh space here and let's search for the, the animation blueprint. Inside it you will find the node that says retarget post from mesh. Click on it and head over to the IK retargeter asset. Hit edit and you will see that there's an issue with the, the right leg here and the way to fix it is to go over to the custom retarget pose and select the queen retarget pose hit save and then we can just hit play Now that we were able to integrate UCS with other projects, we're going to see how we can fix some of the most common issues that users come across. Sometimes when users try to attach weapons or tools to their characters, they come across this problem, in which you can see that the object is not properly aligned with the character's hands. Now the way to solve this is just to make sure that we attach the weapon to the UCS mesh and not to the hidden character mesh. Let's see why this happens and how we can fix it. So if I just open the character I'm using right now, um, you will see that the hands of the main character are not positioned at the same place as the UCS mesh. So what we're going to do is first of all make sure that we are attaching the object properly. So wherever you have the logic to attach um, the weapon, in this case I'm using this code, um, instead of using the main mesh I'm going to use the UCS mesh here. And now I have to make sure that this socket exists on the UCS mesh. So let's go to the Queen character. This is the socket that we are using. So I'm going to just copy it over to the other character. And now I'm going to search for the UCS mesh. First of all, I'm going to add an animation here to make it easier to attach the weapon. I'm just going to select the idle animation and make sure to hit disable here so we are not using the post process um, blueprint. So um, let's go to the character's right hand here and right click and paste the socket that we just copied. I still don't know if this is positioned properly, so I'm going to right click here, click on add preview and add the weapon that we want to try and it's almost okay I'm just going to move it a bit upwards here I think that should be fine now if I play the game again and I attach the weapon you will see that now it's positioned properly You can also make some changes to how the IK retargeting is working. So if for some reason you want the, the current character to follow the parent more closely, um, what you can do is go to the UCS folder and search for the post process blueprint. And here you will see that we have this IK retargeted asset here. So we ha if I hit on edit, I will be able to do some changes to how the UCS mesh is following the parent. First, make sure to hit disable on the animation blueprint here. And let's select an animation. Let's select the, the run animation. And here you can start to see some differences between both characters. You can see that the hands are actually at different positions. So if you want them to be at the same position as the parent, you can click on the go to chain mapping here and search for the arm. And if I click on the left arm here, um, I will see a lot of options that you should play around to see how they work. Um, but on the IK section, you will find this blend to source option. So if I change this value, you will see that the character will start to get closer to the parent uh, position. So if I set this to one, it will be at the same place. 
and I can do the same thing for the other hand here and I can also start changing some of these features like on the pole vector so if I start changing this I'm going to to shift the elbow position here So you might want to play with this as well. Now, be aware that um, right now I have set the blend to source to one. So if I hit play, I will see some. I will see that the character right now is hunching quite a lot, and because we are forcing it to be uh, to, to to keep the hands at the same position, no matter the height. So this is something that you should consider when changing the IK retarget. 